Nation, it's great to be here again. Today's topic is for those of you that have always dreamt of planning a small, intimate wedding. Some people want a large, grand wedding, while some want a small, intimate wedding. A small wedding, it's actually easier to plan, but it can be harder to achieve because there's so many family demands and so many obligations. And a lot of us have so many friends that we want to come for our wedding. So fear not, I'm going to be sharing with you a few tips, practical tips on how to get a small intimate wedding. Number one, be realistic with your goals. Be realistic with the number of guests. You don't want to say that you are planning for 200 and really, really you can't keep your guest number down by, by that. You need to be realistic. Number two, you need to speak to your family members. Let them understand what you're trying to achieve. Let them buy in into this idea of you having a small wedding. Thirdly, design your dream list. The dream list that you've always thought of having for your big day. Next, plan and set expectations. What do I mean? Sit and tell everybody, let everybody understand and let everybody know that there is no plus one. You can't bring your father, sisters, daughters, brother, cousin, sister, mother, uncle from another brother. No, they are not welcome. Let them understand so that nobody will say that they didn't tell them when they get to the venue on the day. Also, you can choose an unusual time of the day or an unusual time of the week. Usually in Nigeria, we have weddings on Saturdays and on Thursdays. You can choose to have your wedding on a Tuesday. You can even have your wedding on a Sunday if you want. Yes, it's your wedding. <laughs> of course, internationally and globally, weddings are usually done on Fridays and weekdays because it can be cheaper. So you can choose to have your wedding on a day that is unexpected. You need to cut out friends that you've not seen in three years. A friend that is just on your BB contact, who just sends you broadcast messages and never says hello. You don't need to invite them for your wedding. Secondly, you can cut out co-workers. Those co-workers that are not your friends, I hate you secretly. All those co-workers that smile and are playing politics, don't invite them for the wedding. It's not compulsory. Just cut out co-workers that are not your friends outside the office. Another way is by having an A-list. And Alice are those that must be at the wedding. Who are the people that must be at this wedding? That's your A list. And then you have a B list. What is the B list? The B list are those that really want to come to your wedding, but you are not sure you want to invite them. That's your B list. You can have an intimate wedding. You can have a small wedding. We've done it before. Many people have done it in Nigeria, and it is possible. You just have to be tough. You have to be tough. You have to be firm, and you have to stand your ground. Divide the guest list among the families. Amongst the bride's family, amongst the groom's family, and amongst you, the couple, the groom, and the bride. Divide the guest list and try and make it as equal as you can. Also, send save the date letters or cards to only those you want to invite. Please, please, please don't send save the date letters to those that you are not inviting because you cannot disinvite them or uninvite them when it's time to send out your invitation cards. Lastly, you need to make the wedding fun. On the day, for those of your friends or family that are there, you need to make it fun, you need to make it magical, you need to make it romantic, you need to make them know that the reason why you're having a small intimate wedding is because you just want the day to be about you and them, and it's all about family and friends. So there you have it. You probably started out thinking, is it possible to have an intimate wedding at all? I hope that these tips that I've been able to give you I've let you see that an intimate wedding is possible wherever you are in the world. Thanks for watching another episode of Funke Says. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the link below. And of course, you can catch me on my social media pages, Funke Buckner on Instagram. Send me an email at funkesays at funkebuckner.com.